Hello, uh, doing a video outside. It's about 10 o'clock or so. Just relaxing, having some fresh air. Was listening to a uh, podcast by uh, Pretty Good Gaming. I like those guys. I started talking about VR, and this is a video I plan to make for a while, but I'm just getting around to it now. Um, VR sucks. Uh, VR sucks, and uh, what happened, guys, is that this is supposed to be the, the next big thing in gaming, right? This is supposed to destroy and dominate consoles, and it would be the main way that people play games. Right? <laughs> you guys were so fucking wrong. And I was so fucking right. I predicted this long before the VR came onto the market. Before Oculus, before HTC Vive hit, I knew it was going to be a gimmicky piece of shit. And I was right. Look at stupid Skyrim VR. Look at that fucking turd, the warping around. Don't even talk about Doom VFR, which really freaking sucks. That, that made me sick. No, not in terms of motion sickness, just vomit after, as someone who has Xbox One, has Doom 2016, and then you look at that, it's like, this is not fucking Doom. VR will, in its current form and technology, will never take over, dominate, or be the main way people play games. The only way virtual reality does that is if the technology massively improves. Like, I'm talking, you know, Star Trek Holodeck or um, Total Recall type virtual vacation technology. When we get to something like that where it can actually go into your goddamn brain, then, yeah, virtual reality. But if it's virtual reality where you got some stupid TV strapped to your face and you're warping around... Fuck no. It's never going to get there. It's too expensive, too overpriced, as I mentioned about the Switch. Right? And it's just it doesn't have the games behind it. Could VR be doing better than it is now? Absolutely. And this is how VR can do better. They need to focus on unique experiences that can only be done in VR. They need to stop trying to copy big main console games. Because obviously they have no intent to do that because they keep doing this retarded freaking teleport mechanic they need and, and and if it and if they do that as i'm hearing because to prevent motion sickness then you need to change the type of games that you're making perfect example star trek bridge crew we need to have more games like this and have those games massively expanded like in terms of content and different things you can do star trek bridge crew for vr i think is a great title i haven't played it but from the videos that I've seen of it. It looks kind of fun. Could they do better or improve it? Absolutely. But we need to go along that line of thinking. Like, for example, right? When I was a kid, you know, I used to pretend to be, you know, on a... You know, see, I'm sitting in a chair here, right? I used to, you know, pretend to be a starship captain and, you know, issue orders and stuff. And my dad, who, thank God, I don't live with that guy anymore, he's a drunk, does a lot of drugs, you know, fucking hits acid and you know, whatever else he's fucking doing. He was, like, drunk and high, and he was sitting there in his chair. The TV was off, and he's freaking... Per he, he seems to think he's a starship captain issuing orders. I come down to the basement. This is a bit of story time. And then I look over, and I was like, Hey, Dad, I wanted to go out. My basement was my area when I was living with him. I moved out when I was 19. And he's like, Ensign, we need to contact the Starfleet. We're under... Our ship's under attack. We're low shields. And I'm like whatever dad i'm going downstairs like that's it you go to the brig and then he's fucking all high and spinning out and thinking he's a starship captain you know what vr starship star trek that'd be awesome like you could like live a fantasy in that like it's something that you can't really do properly with you know a controller it's something that would be better for vr you can truly role play and live a fantasy of being you know on star on a starship you know, we need to have more stuff like that and have it expanded and, and improved and add, you know, voice acting and more content, more things to do, more activities. That's what you need to focus on, unique experiences that can only be had in VR and are best represented in, in VR. Now, I know back in the day for the Genesis, they had a, uh, I think a Star Trek Bridge Command or a game where you could play that. It, I thought that was kind of cool in the day, but for the VR... I, we need to do more stuff like that, if you know what I'm saying. So, 
the way it's going now, VR is dead. It's done. It's a gimmick. HTC is trying to pull out of the uh, virtual reality business. It's not going good. Who in the who in the right fucking mind in these companies thought that this was the next big thing in gaming? That you'd have to have a thousand dollar PC, top of the line PC, to even run the VR headset. And then the VR headset is around the same price as that goddamn over expensive PC. Like no, hardly anybody. The general consumer is not going to be able to use this, these devices. And then the content isn't even there for the devices to begin with. So it's like, come on, man. Who, why do you people, the, the, both the developers, the designers, and the fucking fanboys, why do you guys still seem to think, or were saying in the past that VR is going to dominate and destroy consoles? No, it fucking won't. It can't. It doesn't, it doesn't have the capability to do so. Now, it could be doing better, as I said, and and I really wish it would would focus on those experiences. Because if they bring down the price, and they have more things like Star Trek Bridge Crew, you know, I might be tempted to, you know, once I have, you know, my uh, security job, because I'm going to, for security training, right? Once I manage to get a full-time security job and get off a of fucking OW, welfare, then uh, fucking I'll be I'll be I'll be good. I, it would be nice to have the extra cash and. You know, better VR games. I might, you know, give it a try. I'd play that Star Trek Bridge Crew game. That looks fun. Like, I I like Star Trek. I've watched all the series. It'd be kind of cool to, you know, pretend to be a starship captain or work engineering or helm. And, you know, if I get other headsets or friends have headsets, they can come over. Or better yet, keep improving this technology. You know, and maybe you could have online capabilities. So you could, uh, they don't necessarily have to be in the room. You could have your headset on in your room and your online buddy could be on, you know, at his house and you could all be playing together look around and you'll see each other and that'd be cool i don't know i just uh vr freaking sucks man it does i don't really like it they need to have more unique experiences and uh yeah so what do you guys think of vr do you guys still really think it's gonna dominate consoles and to be the main way people play when you need a thousand dollar pc and the unit itself costs a thousand freaking bucks think really think that do you agree with me that we need more unique experiences like Star Trek Bridge Crew? That's the one really unique experience that I've seen that I felt was, you know, per worthwhile. Let me know what you guys think down below. Take care. Peace out.